So recently, I've been looking for a way to use my PC remotely. However, I don't want to leave my PC on all the time 24-7, as I'm only going to be using it for a couple hours a day. So there really are two options. One is leave your PC on, but we've already discussed this is a waste of power. And number two is using Wake on LAN. While Wake on LAN works, it takes a lot of effort to implement as you have to port forward. Additionally, you have to have your computer in sleep mode. Quite frankly, I don't think Wake on LAN is even worth it, which is why I'm going to show you now the easiest way to turn on your PC and use your PC remotely. And the best part is, is it's only going to cost you around $10 using one of these. So if you don't know what this is, this is a smart plug which allows you to turn off and on a plug remotely from your phone. So there are tons of listings available for smart plugs and you can use any one you want to use and they go for as little as $7 per plug. So how do you set up this method? But first set up your smart plug and make sure it's working correctly and check that you can control it with your phone. Each smart plug is different so I won't be going through that here. Then power on your PC and smash the delete key to get into your BIOS. Then click advance in the top, then click settings and then go to advanced settings. These settings will vary by motherboard to motherboard, but they should mostly be the same. Click something similar to power management setup, and then make sure you turn restore after AC power loss and set that to power on. Save your changes and restart the PC. Now with your computer off, plug in your smart plug into the plug and then plug the other side into the wall. Make sure the power is on and make sure the smart plug is connected. Now you'll find that you can turn on your PC directly from your phone, and it's that simple. So now you've successfully made it so you can turn off and on your PC remotely. Now if you want to connect to your PC, you can just install your favourite remote desktop software. So I'm going to be using TeamViewer for this because it's free and it's very easy to use, and unlike Microsoft Remote Desktop, it doesn't require any port forwarding and it can be used over the internet. So download TeamViewer on the device you want to connect from, so not the host computer, and you want to install the full client. Open up the TeamViewer file and click Install TeamViewer. Follow the installation and you'll be taken to this page. Click Sign In to sign in or create an account. And once you've signed in, you'll be taken to another page. In the right hand side, you'll see Remote Devices and click Set Up Remote Access on this device. And then enter a name for your device and click Add This Device. Now head on over to your host computer and download TeamViewer. And now I'm going to download TeamViewer Host because I'm only going to be using it to connect to this device. Go through the installer and then eventually you'll be taken to this page. Click manage this device and sign into your account that you just created. And then you're ready to connect. Now you can turn off your PC and turn it back on using your phone. Wait a little while and click remote devices on the right hand side menu. Then click connect to connect to your desktop. You can then sign into your account and use your PC as normal. When you're ready to disconnect just shut down your PC and click cancel. Wait a little while and then turn off your plug using your phone. And that's it, you can now control your PC and turn it on and off from anywhere. If you want to connect using your phone, you just download the TeamViewer app, make sure you're signed in, then turn on the PC using your smart plug, go back to the TeamViewer app, click computers at the bottom, click my manage devices, and connect to your device by clicking remote control. You can now sign in, and when you want to shut down your computer, just do the same steps as before. So overall, I think this is a great way to connect and remotely connect to your computer. You can turn it off and on, and it's very easy to use. It's way easier than Wake on LAN and any other options. Don't forget to subscribe, comment and like if you liked the video. Thank you.